Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mel Chadwick, I'm a freelance illustrator and today I am going to show you how to vectorize hand lettering. So this is something that I use a lot of in my work. I use a lot of my handwriting in personal projects and also in my commercial illustrations. So I thought I'd just show you how I do it. It's pretty simple once you get the hang of it and it can be quite addictive, so watch out. So let's jump in. I'm gonna be using a soft pencil, a brush pen and a brush. So I'll be able to show you three different styles and we'll see how they scan and vectorize. Step one, scan your lettering. So now you're ready to open up Photoshop. Click file, scroll down to import your file to bring up the scanning dialog box and make sure that you're scanning at a high DPI. I like to use 600 DPI. I'm also using the black and white filter Remember to check the format is JPEG and also that you know where you're going to save it to. Step 2. Level up in Photoshop. So once it scans, we're going to change the levels. I like to use shortcut keys a lot, so on a Mac it's Command L and this will bring up the dialog box. I then like to click and drag the pointers on the scale. So I start with the one on the left and drag it to around the middle and then drag the one on the right down to meet it and gradually bring them together so that the lettering is crisp and black and the background is white. Once you're happy with that, go to File and Save as a JPEG and then you're ready to open up Illustrator. So firstly you need a new file, so go to File, New and from there you can select what size of artboard you'd like to work with. I've selected an A4 landscape. Step three, place in Adobe Illustrator. And then you're gonna bring in your scanned image by selecting File, Place. And this will bring up a little icon with your image. And then what I'll do is just click, hold shift and drag so that um, you can have the file at the size you want. Step four, live trace. Next, we're gonna then go to image trace and select the tracing preset without fills, which is at the bottom, and that will remove the white background from the image. If you can't see that option, click on the general image trace button and then open up the dialog box, which is to the left. See where I'm circling and that's the box you need to click to bring up that li the live trace options. Step 5. Expand and ungroup. So go to the expand button and this will expand your image and then you're going to ungroup it so that you can move your lettering around. So go up to object and ungroup. Step six, color and resize. So now that all of your lettering is ungrouped, you should be able to move it around freely. And the next thing that you'll be able to do is to resize your lettering, which is a very cool thing about vectorization is that you can resize and enlarge to however big you want it. And also coloring wise, you'll be able to change the color as much as you want. As you can see I'm just going through the colours and you can see how quickly I can um, change the colours of my lettering. Just so you know guys, in the next video I will be showing you how to take your hand lettering into Premiere Pro, so make sure to check that out when it goes live. Step 7. Save as a vector file. So go up to File and click Save as and save it as a Adobe Illustrator file. So once you get the hang of it, you can use your lettering in so many different applications, such as laser cutting, engraving, screen printing, letterpress. You'll be able to put your lettering on anything you choose. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this and found it useful. Um, let me know in the comments and of course if you enjoyed it please like and also please subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye!